as the question says a hydrogen atom in state n equal to 6 makes two successive transitions and reaches the ground state in the first transition a photon of 1.13 electron volts is emitted then find the energy of the photon emitted in the second transition and what is the value of n in the intermediate state now friends we have been given the value of n to be 6 so we can find the energy of that orbit which comes out to be minus 0.377 and we all know that the energy of the ground state that is n equal to 1 comes out to be minus 13.6 electron volts now if we take this n to be 6 this to be the ground state and this to be the intermediate state so if this is the total energy capital E and this transition energy to be E dash and this one to be E double dash then we can say then that the photon of energy E double dash is actually equals to the total energy of the direct photon that is E minus E dash right so if I deal with the magnitude of these photons because it is moving from the upper to the lower so a photon is emitted in these cases so if I deal with the magnitude of energy rather the energy of the photons I can say that the second transition energy E double dash is basically equal to 13.6 minus 0.37 so this comes out to be the difference of this one minus 1.13 that is minus E dash this is capital E and this is E dash giving us E double dash to be 12.09 electron volts that is approximately 12.1 electron volts right so this is the answer of the first part now in B part we need to find the intermediate state in which it is making the transition now can we find out the energy of this state yes we can obviously do because it is the energy of sixth orbit plus the energy of the photon emitted to come to that orbit right now friends this is only what I am taking the magnitude because these are in the negative so it will be obviously a negative so I can say uh, if I sum up this I can say it comes out to be 0 5.1 so this is basically 1.5 uh, I can say that minus 1.5 equals to minus 13.6 z square which is 1 n square which we need to find out and from here we can calculate n to be 3.03 .03, that which implies that n is basically 3 so the transition is happening with the orbit number 3 because it is coming from 6 to 3 and then going from 3 to 1